Ravens Christmas night. We'll all be tuned in. There's yeah. there's no ands, ifs, or buts mm -hmm. about that. But before we dive fully into it, um, a player that deserves a lot of recognition is Kyle Hamilton. Is that fair to say? Yes. That Kyle Hamilton is was till this day. I remember when he got drafted last year. I couldn't believe he dropped, and a lot of people had some reservations last year to start off his season as a rookie. Well, guess what? He is one of the best players in the NFL to date, in my opinion, and arguably you can say is the best safety. Zach, I know you feel similarly yeah, about it. And we actually have Kyle Hamilton being talked about on the Pat McAfee show just on how Brad Wright, his greatness yeah. of how of how appreciated he is for what he's doing for this team. Uh, and actually how he might be getting a little disrespected. That's according to the accounts that Pat McAfee, A.J. Hawk were, were making. Mm -hmm. So take a listen to this and we'll react to it on the other side. Well, Hamilton, who I think a lot of people are quickly saying one of the best safeties in the league, I think. Dog. Not yeah. just like young guy who's good. I think mm -hmm. people are saying like holy guy mm -hmm. who is really good. Here's him talking about feeling a little disrespected about what's going on. I think yes and no. Uh, I think internally we don't feel that way. Uh, externally, I don't know what it is, whether it's – I don't know what it is, but whether it's the lack of primetime games we've got or whatever, but I think um, – the 11 and threes are not created equal right now um, in terms of the 49ers versus us. And um, we feel a little disrespected by that. Uh, I feel like we are the best team in the league and uh, we've got an opportunity in front of the country to show it. I love that. He said internally we don't feel that way, mm -hmm. but also, yeah, we feel like we're the best team in the league. I don't know <laughs> what we're talking about. And then here's him talking about at what the quarterback of the team that everybody says is the best in the league. Um. I mean, the word around the league is he's a system quarterback, and I just think that's not true. Just from what I've seen, he's um, making every throw uh, that you can make as a quarterback. It's on time, on target, um, makes good decisions. He's mobile, and um, he's got a great cast around him at the same time. But, uh, I mean, yeah, he's, he's really good, and um, props to him for – uh, he's a pretty cool story of what he's done now and he's an cool. um, MVP race. So uh, it's going to be a good challenge, but I'm excited to do it. A lot of respect, maybe disrespect and absence of respect. There's maybe a thought about maybe not. Two teams think they're the best in the league. What a Monday night, AJ. Yeah, but two teams think they're the best team in the league, but most people publicly are crowning the, the Niners, obviously, oh, yeah. as that team. Yeah, and like we just heard there, the Ravens are feeling it. They understand. And there's a lot of power in that when you can – get pissed off and know, hey, no one gives us a chance, us against the world, all of that stuff. Sometimes you can uh, use that to your advantage. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that uh, the Ravens are equipped to always – they're always looking for a chip on their shoulder, and that's mm -hmm. just been an organization since the start. Uh, yeah. it, anytime that uh, you see the media uh, kind of like – being all in favor of the Ravens winning something, I always get nervous. It's when there's a lot of doubts. And right now we're looking at the odds here and the 49ers are favored by five and a half points yeah. on Monday. So I think that that's a bit egregious. If it was 49ers favored by three, fine. Mm -hmm. Because basically all you're doing is giving those three points for home field advantage. And, and it's an even matchup. So, it, you know, Vegas is kind of giving the edge still to the 49ers, even though both teams are 11 and three. Kind of don't understand that. I mean, I, I, I get that the Ravens offensive line is probably not as good as 49ers, but I would argue that the Ravens defense is better than the 49ers mm -hmm. defense. And we saw the way that the, the Cardinals carved up that defense on, as far as the run game was concerned. Mm -hmm. And you have the number one run game in the league in the Baltimore Ravens. So I think it's just going to be absolutely a, a incredible game to watch and it should be an evenly matched uh, game yeah i mean it's everything that we've been hoping for uh, this is and kind of talking about not trying to make the comparison of the 2019 vibes but remember that game san francisco came to baltimore mm -hmm. yeah right yep it was the two best teams at the time everyone thought that could be the super bowl preview yeah. kind of feels like it's deja vu now i hope in this case ravens still win the game and the ravens end up going to the super bowl as well lamar was shaking guys out of their shoes the yeah game. That was insane. That it, was ridiculous. That was, yeah, that was prime like Lamar Jackson juke moves. Yeah. Oh man, it, that was that was special. That mm -hmm. whole year, I mean, that was it, yeah. was it was the Bengals spin move, the Houdini, Bills. The, yeah, the Bills game, that 49ers game. Everybody was like, and uh, the even though they lost the Chiefs, that Chiefs mm -hmm. game too, where he spun into the end. Yep. Like there were so many crazy plays. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see if there's any any sort of similarities in, mm -hmm. in this game on Monday night. I think on undisputed, it was put. Perfectly, and it was nothing that was set on Undisputed. But the headline of Undisputed with it today was 
Baltimore feels disrespected being underdogs. And in the same headline, it had the Ravens record as 11 and four. They had already given us the loss and they're saying <laughs> that we feel, yeah, we feel disrespected because you're already saying our record is one loss worse than it is. So it's those little things. It's like they're defending that Baltimore's not being disrespected, but in their own headline, yeah, they have our record as worse than it is. They don't even have our right record up. It's like, yes, it's seen as the two best teams are being put together, but that's not how it's being talked about. It's being talked about of can the Ravens hang with the 49ers and Seen a lot of people saying the 49ers are going to win this by two scores. Ravens' biggest loss this year is by seven points. Lamar Jackson does not get blown out. No. Yeah, I mean, I believe Lamar is nine and four as an underdog. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Is he not 19 and one against the NFC? Yes. Where where do the San Francisco 49ers? You know him? what that one? And, and he had a he had a great Daniel quote. Jones. He had a great quote Lamar did on being the underdog the other day. He was just basically like Keep taking us as the underdog until yeah. February. He's like, keep right. doing it. Keep doing Why it. Not? Well, yeah. and, and that's that's what you want, right? You want to be considered the underdog because the pressure's off. And not that I feel like the Ravens have been, and we've even seen it now. Who, what team is getting the most attention right now in the AFC? The Buffalo Bills. Yeah. The I Buffalo love it. Bills are getting attention and being, are they the most dangerous team? Meanwhile, a lot of people are just Oh, the Ravens won. They're, they're like they're almost frauds. Yeah, and I and I'm not saying that, that that game in Jacksonville wasn't the prettiest. And we talked about it. the Jaguars beat themselves, but a part of the game also is not beating yourself. And the mm -hmm. Ravens didn't. Besides the one turnover by Lamar, they did everything else one right, and they won by 16. Right? It was the, yeah. 23 yeah. to seven. Yep. Right. So points. Yeah, I know. I was about to. I was thinking about the math um, ways over there. Yeah, okay. I know. Well, I was getting thrown off because I was thinking about all the points that happened in the Rams Ravens game. But twenty three to seven with the Jags, you win by sixteen on the road against a team that's a very solid team that has playoff and Super Bowl aspirations. And now you're going on the road to face the best team. And by the way, you know who the best road team in the NFL is who? Tell me, the Baltimore Ravens. No way. No. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. I am shocked. Fire Harbaugh. Yeah, and, and so I, I think the, the biggest question marks is we're going around. I like that. I like that comment. Brandon <laughs> Deet says, uh, name a top defense uh, that the 49ers have played this year. I believe the NFC West hasn't had, like, that tough of a schedule in general. So, mm -hmm. like, they've all had some pretty good, uh, you know, records. It was the Rams, obviously. Seahawks, you know, held their own. 49ers, and then, you know, the, the Cardinals are who they are. But, you know, they, they've all had a pretty soft schedule. So it's a very good point. Oh, this is another thing that just popped in my head. Oh, Re record against the AFC North mm -hmm. is they are one and two. Oh, yeah. All and they, yeah. They are one and two. So and they have yet us yet to play. So they lost to the Browns, and that was to a, a beat up Browns against. Uh, yeah, that was a very. Was PJ, that PJ, uh, PJ Walker? Walker? That was a disgusting rain game. PJ Walker. They lost to uh, the, the a, a healthy Joe Burrow in the Bengals, and, you know, they kicked the shit out of the Steelers. Yeah. But. Uh, and game one of the season, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, I keep saying this: AFC North is not easy, easy division to to to, be, to beat, no matter who you are. Yeah. yeah. Last thing I want to say about the Super Bowl preview, Adit brought up. This is my favorite conspiracy theory going on right now. The colors of the Super Bowl. It is. Someone <laughs> remind me. It's like the past six years, the Super Bowl colors always announced a year prior. The logo, the colors in the logo always represent the teams that are playing in it and throughout the years it's past six years it's been right and this year is purple versus red yeah and unless the vikings are making a incredible run i love our odds as the purple team yeah you know it, i i do too it's crazy that you know if you're believing that i guess it, the script's already out rock yeah. you got the script right yeah, they send yeah. it to you guys. No, Zach, Zach's, Zach's dressed like someone who's like who would be a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> <laughs> kind of got the I got a tinfoil like... hat on. <laughs> I'm the guy at the bar, yeah, like nine beers deep. all over him right now. Yeah, I'm you like mean, alone at the bar, ninety beers deep, trying to explain to you why the Super Bowl logos are actually like you're the why dude, the script are. You're the dude with the hat that has the beers on the yeah. hat with like you know. We should get. I'll get one of those. He, he kind of reminds me of the. Uh, that's hundred percent right, exactly like the yeah. aliens guy. I know he wasn't wearing a wearing a hat, yeah. at the top, but like aliens. I need to go crazy hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you have it when you don't wear a hat. Yeah. And so we see that it's back on, maybe for the best. But I still like yeah. the no hat in Rocco. See, you look good. 
Hair's looking good tonight, man. Anyway, it is. That was a compliment, and I got and I got the hair gel in the back if you need it. Hey, can we can we real quick? What what has impressed me the most about the Ravens? It, it, like to get to this point, the 49ers are, are such an impressive team as well. The weapons they have, offensively and defensively, like what better gift on Christmas than to for football fans than to have this game on Monday night? I mean, I know, it's beautiful. Right? The best team yeah. in the NFC, the best team in the AFC. But with the Ravens losing J.K. Dobbins, losing Mark Andrews. And now losing Keaton Mitchell. I know Mitchell was recent. They haven't played a game without him yet. But but finding ways to win. Yep. Harbaugh talked about the December wins. This is a big one. This mm -hmm. is one where you know that this group right now on the Ravens side is strictly business. And you know the group on the 49ers side, they're strictly business as well. So it's like this is like the iron sharpens iron mentality. Mm -hmm. If – these two teams, regardless of what happens in this game, whether it's a 49ers win or a Ravens win, it's going to make both teams better going forward. And I would love to see this as a Super Bowl matchup. I feel like if you get this and it's and it's a game that lives up to the hype, everyone expects it to be just hard hitting, big plays, great football. I mean, who wouldn't love to see that in the in the Super Bowl? Except you know, fans of the other teams, not yeah. Besides, the besides the other teams and exactly. their fan bases, exactly. every other yeah. team, but. <laughs> But the talent level yeah. is yeah. tremendous. I think the biggest storyline for this specific game is going to be the defensive line of the 49ers versus the, the Ravens offensive line and how can Lamar Jackson continue to yep. make his plays. And, and it's not that yeah. improvise. And it's not that it's not a matter of if with Lamar Jackson. It's it's really how he's going to do it. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's, he's done he's done it every game, but this is going to be the toughest challenge challenge to date.